Of all the years of pure cringe that we have had to suffer with Whoopi Goldberg and Joy Behar and Sonny Hostin on The View, they just brought it to a whole new level of complete insanity and cringe today when they had Joe Biden join them on The View. And yes, it is as awful as you can imagine. So let's go ahead and check this out, and we will go from there. Make sure that you leave a like if you're voting for Trump. Make sure that you leave a dislike if you're voting for Kamala. Let's see how those numbers are looking, but let's go ahead and check this out and see what is going on after 50 years of proud public service president joe biden stepped up to lead us out of the dark a very divisive era oh my gosh i'm already wanting to throw up i cannot believe this he led us out of the darkness like moses leading the the israelites out of egypt uh, and the the whole divisive thing the only reason why things have not felt as divisive over the past few years is because the mainstream media haven't been hounding the president like they did during Trump's first run of president. That's the only reason why so many people just fall into that, think that things have not been so bad over the past few years because the mainstream media have told us that things have not been so bad. We are beyond honored to welcome the 46th President Joe Biden. <laughs> But if you think that is bad enough, it gets worse. It was only two months ago that you decided to step aside from seeking re-election, putting your country first above any personal ambition, and passing... <laughs> Totally was not forced out of the race whatsoever. Even though, like, two days before he stepped out of the race, he literally said that he was not leaving, that he was not dropping out. But yeah, it was totally Joe Biden's genuine decision to do that. The vice I love you, Joe! <laughs> <laughs> and you passed the torch to Vice President Kamala Harris. What have these past two months felt like, and are you at peace with your decision? Well, I am at peace with my decision. Look, when I ran uh, for the first this for my first, this last term, the only person who has ever beaten Trump. What advice have you given the Vice President about how to win? Be herself. Mm -hmm. Look, she is smart as hell. Number one. Yeah, Biden totally got those 81 million votes, didn't he, guys? 100%. Do not question it. Do not question it, or you're a threat to democracy. Even though, you know, Kamala Harris was appointed into the position of being uh, the presidential nominee for the Democrats, and she was not elected by any de democratic process whatsoever. And as vice president, there wasn't a single thing that I did that she couldn't do. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to delegate her responsibility on everything from foreign policy to domestic policy. Okay, wait a minute. Was that Joe Biden just flat out confirming what we have been saying for months now at this point, that Kamala Harris has actually been the one who has been actually kind of in charge? That's what it really sounded like. I can't believe that. He actually just accidentally admitted the truth. That Kamala Harris has actually been the one who has been in charge of a lot of the crap that we are facing in our country today. Do, did you feel that your hand was forced? And what is your relationship with Speaker Pelosi now? Our relationship is fine. Look. What? I, <laughs> <laughs> I never fully believed the assertions that somehow there was this overwhelming reluctance of my running again. Mm -hmm. I didn't sense that. Mm -hmm. And although the polling, as you said, Biden's polling was different, the fact of the matter is my polling was about, we're, you know, we're always within range of beating this guy. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> no, it wasn't, dude. Literally everyone in the country could see that you were getting completely demolished by Trump. Oh, my goodness. These people will lie about anything. But uh, uh, what I did was I think there were uh, I, it makes sense. There were some folks who would like to see me step aside so they have a chance to, to move on. I, I get that. that. That's just human nature. He totally did not even answer that question. She asked him, did you feel that your hand was forced? And he, he could not answer the question because ultimately he knows the truth. He knows the truth. We all know the truth. We all know that he was forced out. So anyway, so you guys get the picture. It's just complete and total cringe coming from the view. But what else do you expect? Uh, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.